Google may be leading the robotic revolution, or what will most likely be a robotic takeover or a Terminator human holocaust nightmare. The internet giant has been buying up massive robotic companies and is planning on creating a fleet of humanoid drones and automatic driving vehicles equipped with drones that will then roll out to deliver packages to you um, as a robotic replacement for the UPS man. Now, unless you've been living under Kim Kardashian's butt, you have heard about Amazon.com's plan to use drones to deliver packages in what may be a pipe dream of billionaire Jeff Bezos or just simply a publicity stunt. But what is interesting is UPS has also been researching using delivery with drones and of course you can imagine the nightmare scenarios that can go wrong with that. Um, Time Magazine awarded Atlas, the robotic uh, humanoid wannabe device that was created by DARPA, uh, the, the funded by the Defense Department, as one of their best 25 inventions. Uh, and it looks an awful lot like, yes, the T-800, the famous Terminator from the 1984 Terminator film series starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it looks like we are approaching a some sort of robotic revolution as these devices become more and more sophisticated. A new night watchman that looks exactly like R2-D2 from Star Wars has been unveiled uh, that has equipped with all kinds of technology, thermal imaging scanners, cameras, microphones, uh, upgrades will be facial recognition, scanners, etc., etc., um, to replace security guards. I just have an R2-D2 robot there rolling around. And, of course, Google's operating system for their mobile devices is called Android, and so it only makes sense that this uh, demonic company would be planning on building some sort of uh, an Android uh, soldiers, Android, everything. And then leave it to disgusting whack jobs like Ray Kurzweil, who is a chief engineer over there at Google, who plans on uploading his own brain into one of the Android systems and becoming God. Yeah, you know, we are rapidly approaching this transhumanist trend. Uh, this sci-fi scenario is becoming a very real situation. We have the HAL robotic suit. Uh, this is a real suit. It's an exoskeleton suit that multiplies the uh, person who is wearing it their strength, causing them to lift uh, many hundreds of pounds very easily uh, in a very rapid manner. Of course, HAL, the name of the artificially intelligent robot from... Uh, was it 2001, A Space Odyssey, that just decided to kill the human crew? And that is most likely uh, the scenario with the artificially intelligent singularity looming. Or the Illuminati Messiah will take charge of these devices. Um, with everything is going to be connected to Wi-Fi, remotely accessing any microphone, ever, any camera, any Android, anything... All, this entire centralized system is going to be in the hands of the Illuminati uh, counterfeit Christ, this Antichrist Messiah that's coming. Um, it's just around the corner. I mean, we are really in the f we've, in the final generations of this planet. Um, we have, of course, the film Elysium popularizing, becoming an android becoming a superhuman, it, it's good for you. Yeah, so it's getting extremely beyond Orwell. So leave it to Google, of course, trying to uh, create an Android army who say, well, oh, it'll just be delivering packages. Yes, and then next there'll be security guards with facial recognition systems, uh, just roaming around schools, roaming around shopping malls, uh, this must be stopped. I wouldn't think it would be a bad thing if a Carrington event would uh, hit planet Earth and send us back a hundred years. It's almost due. Uh, and if that does not happen, then we're going to be rapidly approaching the conclusion of the New World Order. Their dystopian, uh, technocratic, 
um, just absolute nightmare. So, of course, leave it to Google, which just has endless money, uh, to be planning an Android army to be delivering packages to you. Yeah, that's not the only thing. Anyway, go and check out Ray Kurzweil, this whack job. I mean, this guy wants to literally become God. He is planning on living forever. I've talked about him before. I've analyzed his predictions in my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. And what's really scary is the guy has been fairly accurate. He has predicted iPads, iPhones, eBooks, um... A lot, a lot of stuff. And if you start reading his future predictions, and if you just have common sense, if, if you can kind of piece the puzzles of technology together, you can forecast, you know, a, a pretty common sense, futuristic view of what it is that's going to happen. So this is the enemy. This is the guy that is going to uh, believe to become God and an immortal being. And I'm not saying that he is the Antichrist, but this same kind of technology is going to be the system that the uh, Illuminati Messiah uses to have, because once we're already there where we all have our microphones in our houses and on our persons and the NSA is tracking five billion cell phone locations, it's almost everybody in the entire planet uh, who has a phone, and so we're getting close where once somebody like Ray Kurzweil, this lawnmower man, if you don't know what that is, that's a reference to the I think it was the 1993, early 1990s film about a guy that, you know, just like Ray Kurzweil, injected himself into a computer mainframe, into the internet, because he got a god complex and he wanted to be the most powerful being ever. And so, with somebody like Ray Kurzweil, who's working at Google, who works with the NSA, you know, somebody can just act, if he wants to listen to you, anybody, he can just click, 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 he's there, he sees it, sends some androids to your house. This is getting extremely creepy. So it's about time that you join the resistance, don't you think? Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Dice. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and the playlists, and stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.